Hello everyone, it's Deborah. I'm a life coach. I just want to introduce myself. I want to thank you for reading all my articles. We are a normal family, Italian family. Uh, we uh, were born in Italy, um, me and my husband, and then we, have, uh, we moved to New York 10 years ago, and then from New York to Mexico City, and then we moved to the UK. In New York, we started also to have uh, our family and we had uh, three little kids, all of them uh, amazing kids and very ambitious kids. All of them were born with a special thing, uh, with um, some, some parents would say with uh, some petals less, some others would say with a special life. Yes, they were born, uh, they are special, but not just because they were born um, with, uh, they had to fight since the beginning, but because they became very strong uh, little people like they are now. Um, if I consider, for example, the twin, the, my twin boys were born uh, uh, with a profound, severe to profound hearing loss. So, I mean, they were born deaf. They couldn't hear anything. It was a shock at the beginning. And of course, it would be a shock for, shock for every kind of parents. Um, but we had good coaches, our doctors and our auditory verbal therapist. They are ambitious. And they told us since the beginning, uh, your kids can reach any kind of goal in their life, but you have to work hard and you have to uh, talk with them in a positive way. Because when kids are born with uh, uh, some petals less, it doesn't mean that they cannot be uh, happy in their life or they cannot reach uh, the goal they want to reach. But it depends on you. So it was ju not just the doctor to give us, uh, to push us, it was not just our uh, incredible auditory verbal therapist, but it was also in us how we started talking with our kids, how we pushed up their bars, how we um, told them to be always ambitious in their life. We didn't let, never let them use the, word, the, the expression, I can't. They need to say, I can, and they have to try. It was not easy at the beginning. I'm not saying that everything was a walking in the park, as walking in the park, but it was possible. And now, if I see my kids, they're very happy and they see their disability as a normal thing of their life. They are proud to have the cochlear and um, the way they are acting at school is absolutely a normal way. They are at the level of their peers and uh, they do also self-advocacy to talk uh, uh, about their cochlear. This is Im very important for you parents. Uh, first, push up their bars. Second, uh, push up their ambitious in every kind of activities they do not just academic skills but also sport also interaction with the kids it's very important and never talk in, with them in a way that they can feel that their um, being special is something that they need to be um, they need to hide if you talk in a normal way and uh, you leave this in a normal way either if it's adoption either if it's a disability or any kind of other situation you can have in your life you will leave this in a better way uh, I hope you're going to have a nice week. Bye!